Hello, it's your pros, and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy, Alvin Drill, and in this video, well, you have read the title, I'm going to show you how to find a better processor for your desktop computer, so then you can replace it, okay? So for that end, I'm going to use this Dell Optiplex 360. You might have an HP, or maybe you build it yourself. The process is exactly the same, all right? So this is the computer. I'm going to show you a few for a few seconds, then we're going to go more in depth. I have done two videos in the past about this same model, so I installed Windows 10 in this computer, as you know, it's from 2008, and I also upgraded the BIOS version. Okay, so if you're interested, the links for those videos are going to be in the video description below. Now, before we start, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. So that really helps my channel a lot. So thank you, thank you very much. Now, as you can see, this is my desktop computer, this is my monitor, and we, I am using Windows 10, as expected, and in the future we might check Windows 11. And now I'm going to show you that this is a working computer. You can see I'm in YouTube right now. Um, I'm using a wireless antenna. Again, if you're interested in that, link in the video description below. Now I'm going to use a tool that I have used in, a, in another videos, and it's free. Again, link is going to be below, and it allows you to see a lot of characteristics of your computer. So as you can see, I'm in the CPU tab, and the name of the processor is Intel Core 2 Duo E7400. So we are going, we want a better one if there exists, all right? So this is the one we have. It consumes 65 watts. That's very important. Your processor has to have enough power for new hardware, right? Then the important, the important part that you have to take a picture in your model, of course, or write it down, is the package. It says socket 775LGA. So that's important because the socket is the physical connector where we install the processor, right? So that's very important. It's unique by um, by my, it's unique by models. So if you have AMD, for example, and not Intel, the process is the same, but you're going to see different numbers. So if I go to motherboard, you can see the manufacturer is Dell and the model of the motherboard. We go to memory, DDR2, that's pretty old. Alt and four gigabytes. We go to graphics and that's uh, in, um, integrated. Now, remember, this is what we need, the socket 775 LGA. Now I'm going to close it and right away, I'm going to open a task manager. So we go to performance and you can see that uh, the CPU, Intel Core 2 Duo ZP, CPU E7400 2.80 gigahertz, okay? So it has two cores. And two, and two logical processors. So you have seen that. I'm just showing you this is not a virtual machine. This is a real computer, all right? Now, I'm going to continue recording on my regular desktop computer because I have a software so I can, well, record the, the, the screen. And we're going to look for a better processor for this model. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Welcome back. So this is my desktop computer, the one I use to edit most of my videos. So the icons are a little bigger so you can see better what I do. Now, this is the uh, screenshot I took, so we can remember Intel Core uh, 2 Duo E7400 and the socket 775A LGA. Now, with that information, we're going to open a web browser, anyone, and we go to this website. Every website is going to be in the video description below as well. So in this website, you the only thing you have to do is type the model of your desktop computer and press enter. So uh, the model, as you know, is the Dell Optiplex 360. So I uh, like that. I made a mistake over there, I think. Yeah, Optiplex. So you press enter and it's going to give you the processors that are compatible with this model. Also, it gives you GPU, as you can see, and also RAM. So this website is very interesting, very useful. So as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, uh, five. But the second one is the one that we already have. It's the one that is installed. So the one I, uh, that's the one that we already have. So the one I chose is the A, the E8600, as you can see over here. So Intel Core 2 Duo E8600 3.33 gigahertz dual core. It cost me around $15, so in my opinion, that's affordable because, well, the processor is uh, from 2008. So you might be asking, but the the highest is the 8400, and you buy the 8600. So now we come to this website, and here we type the socket number, 775. We click on that, 
and we are going to see all the compatible models uh, CPUs for this uh, model, for this Dell Optiplex. So there are many, more than 20 over here, but the first one, the Xeon, if you don't know, Xeon is a processor, Intel processor for servers. So maybe you are not going to choose that one, even though it has four, four cores. So maybe you are going to discard those. So if you scroll down, you can see more, um, um, more common processors. So I'm going to find. I'm, I'm going to look for it. So I'm going to type E8. Uh, it's not four. It's uh, I forgot what it was. It's uh, E8400. So 8400, and of course it's over there. It's going to tell you three gigahertz, six megabytes, the the speed, how much power it consumed. So from here I was going up, eight four uh, eight five for example. It exists, and I went one more up. So that's the one I have. So I said, let's go one more. So 8700, it doesn't exist. 8800, it doesn't exist. So the highest in this family is 8600. So that's the one I chose. That's the one I bought because it's the highest from the ones I'm being um, advised on this website. Okay, so you can play on that. You can choose any of those for your model that you may have and they should work with no problems but if you want a little more you can come to this website okay but the first one is the one i recommend now now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the model over here and we're going to go to paste it into ebay because that's from where i bought it so we come to ebay we copy paste it we change this to six enter and now you can see this you can see the same uh, model and the different prices so it's 25 16 the price is going to depend on when when you visit the store and the demand for this processor now as you can see there are many options it's very affordable and i don't have anything else to do here so i show you how to find a, a replacement for your processor you buy it from ebay or any other store that you may that you may like now let's go back to the computer and install it Welcome back. So this is the desktop computer. Now, uh, first off, I'm going to show you that I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and I'm going to discharge, my, discharge myself of any static electricity that I might have in my body by touching the metallic case. Now, once that's done, I'm going to open it and this is how it looks. So I'm going to show you around really quick. Uh, the, I replaced the hard drive by an SSD, otherwise Windows would be super slow to load. Uh, again, if you need a, an SSD, the link is going to be in the video description below. Now, uh, this is, uh, as you can see, the, this is the RAM modules. The, it only has two. This is for a video card, maybe, if you want to install it. That's the CMOS battery over there, that little uh, coin-like uh, battery, think battery. So that's the power supply. And that's pretty much it. Now, the most important part. Uh, all this part is the processor, the heat sink for that. So it has two screws. Oh, I forgot. This is the processor we bought. This is how it looks. As you know, it's not new. It's secondhand. Intel Core 2 Duo E8600. So this is how it looks. Now I'm going to put it in the case one more time until we need it. So it has two screws, all this cover, I think it's called. And using my Philips screwdriver, I'm going to remove it. So your model might have more, it might be bigger, it might be um, smaller, but that's how it looks. Now, I, you can see that's super dirty, okay? Uh, of course, it's from 2008. So now I'm going to clean it, not here though, outside. Otherwise, everything is going to be full of dust. So we are going to go outside, like you can see here. And now I'm going to open it and using my compressed air duster, linking in the description below as well, we're going to clean it really quick. Now, I cleaned it the best I could, <laughs> so it looks definitely way better than a few seconds ago. Now, we have it, and we're going to go back in. Here we're back to oh, to the desktop computer. Now everything is clean. Well, at least as clean as I it can get. So this is how it looks. This is the heat sink, and that's the processor over there. That's the socket we were talking about, the 775 socket. So now uh, I'm going to do a close up, so you can see better, and we're going to remove it. 
Now the mechanism is very simple. It's a little, it's still a little, a little dirty. So the mechanism, the mechanism is very simple. This is this simple lock, and you have to press it, and put it, um, do just like I did in the video. So that's pretty much it. Uh, and you open it. I cannot move it away. There is another heatsink, and that that's it. It's released. So you remove the processor like that. Pretty simple. So all that is the thermal paste that we are going to replace for the new processor. Now we have the new processor, as you can see here, and there are some tips to install it. So it has uh, the socket has some notches. So here, as you can see, it has two on either side, like like two parts that are missing. It doesn't have it on the on the bottom. Okay. So you have to check for that. That's common for Intel. I don't remember if AMD is like that. I really don't remember, but Intel is like that. So I'm going to do a close up. And if you can see the notches are over here as well. It has two uh, on either side. And on this side, it only has one. On the other, it doesn't have it. So you know how to install it. So you have to make the notches match. Otherwise, you won't be able to install it. You can tell. It, there is only one way to install it, okay? Otherwise, it's going to feel weird. So that's how you install it, pretty much it. It has to fit just right, okay? So now we are going to close it. I'm touching it <laughs> for a long time. So after you make sure that it's not moving, you close it and you lock it, just like that. Pretty, pretty simple. So now we have to add thermal paste. That's very important. I have it here. Uh, this is not new. Um, as you can see, it's MX5. There are many brands. Again, the link is going to be in the video description below if, if you need it. And now I'm going to add kind of three lines like that. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to close it now. Next, we're going to put back the heatsink. Yours obviously is going to look very different unless you have the exact same model but most likely it's going to be different. So you put it like that. I mean, you have to try to fit it in. And here I was kind of struggling to make, to make sure that it's not moving. And then using my Phillips screwdriver, I'm going to put back uh, the screws. As you know, there are only two and we can do that. Now everything is ready. I'm going to connect everything back, the monitor, the mouse, the keyboard, the power, and we're going to turn it on and see what happens. Here we're back. And now you can see everything is, uh, everything is connected. I'm going to turn it on. And right away, you can hear those beeps. So those beeps mean that something is wrong with the processor, okay? So at the beginning I thought, hey, uh, the processor is uh, is bad. Uh, it's not working as it should. And I try this, I mean, I uh, shut on the computer and I turn it on like four more times and it was doing the same. So then I decided that I'm going to reset the processor. So that's exactly what I did. So I removed the, the the heat sink, as you can see, I'm removing the processor. I just did that. I put it back, I put everything together again, and I turn it on one more time. This time I was able to see the dead logo, as you can see there, but it was stuck there, it was frozen. It wouldn't advance, it wouldn't go beyond this, um, this screen. So I was pressing the buttons to get into the BIOS, nothing was working. So after, I don't know, five minutes of waiting, I decided to reboot the computer one more time. So after that, uh, I reboot the computer one more time. And this time I was able to see the Windows logo. So then the login screen, I type my password, press enter, and the blue screen of death. So this is automatic. You just have to wait uh, until it's going to reboot itself. So after that, I was able to see that, the Windows logo, but it was stuck in the Windows logo. So after waiting for three minutes, I decided to reboot it. And I was able to see the Dell logo, but this time I was pressing F2 to access the BIOS. So as you can see, I'm in the BIOS 
I'm going to do uh, I'm going to zoom in and you can see uh, the model uh, Optiplex 360 uh, the processor you can see all that on the top left on the top right I'm sorry uh, the processor clock the bus speed all that so it's a processor we have installed it's detecting the processor that's not the problem then so uh, I just wanted to make sure that the processor was visible uh, from the BIOS. So after that, I just quit the BIOS because I don't have anything else to do. Um, it says preparing Windows, uh, diagnosing your PC. So this one took a while. So the video sped up and here says automatic repairs. I just press um, kind of do it again. And this one took a while. So I stopped the video and I waited until it was done. After that, I turn it on, well, the computer rebooted it, and I was able to see the Dell logo now. Next, the Windows logo, the login screen, I was able to type my password, it's loading, and I was able to get into Windows. So I refresh it, and now we are going to open CPU Z. So it opens, and we can see that we're in CPU, name, Intel Core 2 Duo E8600. So we can see the socket 775 LGA. So we go to motherboard, Delt, and the same model. From there we go to cache. Well, we don't need to do, we don't need to see cache. So memory, two gig, uh, uh, four gigabytes DDR2. So I'm going to close this. And now I'm going to open the task manager. So I can show you that this is the Intel Core 2 Duo CPU 8. Uh, E8600 3.33 gigahertz two cores two logical processors so that's nice so um, now I'm going to open YouTube so to show you that, that it's working and it's working I don't know why Elon Musk is sad in that video but it's working so it has been a long ride for this uh, computer it gave me a lot of problems I don't know if it's because it's super old because when I did the video of upgrading the BIOS, uh, the processor and the video card for an uh, office uh, desktop computer that you can watch in the top right of this screen, I didn't have this problem. It rebooted like two times and that was it. Okay. So if you like this video, if it helped you, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.